What is going on guys? Welcome to your 42nd HTML5 tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about how to work with images on the canvas because we learn how to do a lot of things with the canvas. You can draw shapes, we can put text on there, we can rotate it, grow it, shrink it, uh, what else can we do? Add colors, but there's gonna come a point whenever you're making websites where you're gonna need to throw some images on your canvas. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do. Now it's a little bit different than you know just it's a little bit more complicated I'm gonna admit that then you might think what you need to do first is you need to make an image object and I'm just gonna name mine pick now I'm gonna set this equal to new image in this image class right here is already built into JavaScript we don't need to make our own classes or anything like that however whenever you make an image object it has a property called source now the source of this is basically where on your computer is the image located and mine is located in a folder called images and the file is called t-shirt.ping now if you don't have any images on your computer for some reason or if they're really weird and dirty and you don't want to use them then what you can do is you can just go ahead and copy a URL from you know somewhere online and use it and it should work just fine so now that we said okay JavaScript that's where my image is now can we use it it's gonna be like dude not yet because HTML5 is a little bit weird now listen to this because you need to listen to this or else what I'm gonna do isn't gonna make sense you can't just say okay my image is ready now I want to throw it onto the canvas your image needs to load before you can put it on the canvas so we can't just put it on right now because technically it doesn't know if it's loaded or not so what we want to do is we want to add an event listener and that event listener just like this one down here is gonna wait for something to load we want to wait for the picture to load instead of the window so let me go ahead and just show you guys by example instead of waiting for the window to load which is like our website we want the picture to load now instead of calling this function we want to do something else so we're basically gonna say okay as soon as our picture is loaded then we can draw onto the canvas so remember I said the second parameter of this add event listener as a function we could technically make another function and you know build it down here or something or here's another way you can do this you can just add the body of the function right in here and whenever you do it's just gonna run this bit of code right there so basically whenever our picture loads this bit of code inside this function is gonna run so like I said you can only draw stuff on the canvas as soon as it loads so let's go ahead and draw it right now canvas draw image now the draw image function takes three parameters the first parameter is we're basically saying this okay canvas draw an image on yourself and it's gonna say okay what the heck's the image well for that we need to give it an image object which is this pick why did I copy that it's three letters I could literally type that in like half a second but anyways we're saying okay canvas draw pick and it's gonna say okay but wait where the heck do you want me to draw it we say oh okay zero zero and I hate when my stupid freaking thing does that. It goes to the next line. It makes it really difficult to read. But anyways, I believe that's it. Can't really tell because everything's on two freaking lines. But let's go ahead and save this and see what we got. As we can see, what we did is we created a new image object. That images slash t-shirt dot ping. That's the image. And it waited for it to load. And then it drew on the canvas is zero zero. And by the way, did I mention this, that this is my design for the t-shirts I'm making? I give them away for free on my other YouTube channel. If you're interested, go check it out. It's pretty awesome. I'm actually giving some away for free today, 10 of them. But anyways, enough of me rambling on. So that is that. So what it does is it finds the size of your image and it basically draws whatever size it is. So I think this one was... Uh, I don't know it looks like 150 by 150 or something but what if we wanted to draw this you know what if we want to stretch this out a little bit make it bigger or smaller well in order to do that in oh, crap I think I'm gonna need to stretch this out a little bit in order to do that what we can do is we can add two additional parameters to the end of this draw image it takes two more optional parameters a width and a height 
Now we can explicitly give it a value like 200, 400, or another cool thing we can do is this. We can take, oh, what is it called? The width and the height of the canvas, and it's auto automatically going to stretch it to the width and height of the canvas. So what we can do is hit 600, 400, or the canvas is stored in the variable x. See, document, canvas, it's stored in the variable x. So all we need to do is hit x dot, and remember, the width is first, so x width x height. Remember not to do like y height or anything like that because my variable is named x. I'm not talking about the x and the y value. So let me go ahead and save this and refresh it and see what we got. Now as you can see this picture is stretched to the width and the height of my canvas which is 600 pixels wide by 400 pixels tall. So again like I said the only three parameters you absolutely need whenever you're using the draw image is what image do you want to draw and where do you want to draw it. However, you can have two more optional parameters after that of how wide do you want to draw the picture and how tall do you want to draw it. If you don't include those parameters, then it's just going to take the default width and height of your image and draw it to those specs. But if you want to customize things, then that's how you do it. So anyways, there you go. There's the tutorial of how to work with images on the canvas. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.